Hey everyone, my name is Austin, and last week I was able to watch the new Mean Girls movie, where new high school student Katie Heron infiltrates the popular girl group The Plastics, led by the beautiful Regina George. But as Katie spends more time with The Plastics, she must soon learn to balance the life of being a popular high school girl and being herself. With that being said, this is a spoiler-free review, so if you haven't seen the film yet, you've got nothing to worry about. So for a little background information on this movie, it is an adaptation of the stage show that was made in 2018, which was based off the 2004 movie starring Lindsay Lohan. For reference, I have seen the original movie, but that was a couple years ago, so I did go into this movie with a vague memory of the story. So what I will say is if you have seen the original movie, you have already seen this new one, but this one has more new language and some fun musical numbers thrown into it. I know that some people might not have known this remake was a musical because of the marketing. I don't know what it is, but recently there's been a trend in which Hollywood hasn't been marketing their musicals as musicals. I mean, just last month, Warner Bros. released Wonka, and a lot of the marketing didn't imply that it was a musical. There were some scenes in the trailers that subtly hint that it was a musical, but they weren't marketing it as a musical. Kind of makes you wonder what they're going to do with Wicked later this year. But moving on to my positives about the movie, one of the best things they did was how stylized they made the musical numbers. Each musical number felt unique in their individual scenes. From darkening the outside edges to help the audience perceive the character's inner thoughts, to fully changing the color saturation to make the scene more energetic or mysterious. Each song feels unique and is uniquely showcased. The choreography is also something to note, with them finding a nice balance between theater choreography and cinematic choreography. Another thing to note is that the performances are great. Everyone is committed to this over-the-top satire of modern high school, and it's just fun to watch. Touching a little more on the high school elements, I thought that they did a great job showcasing how much social media is used in the social lives of the students. Not only do they use social media to help share the thoughts of the students outside the main cast of the characters, but it also helps show how quickly rumors and information get spread in high school. They also took liberties to add the TikTok gimmick of swapping clothes seamlessly into a song and it works fantastically. The standout performances for me were Renee Rapp as Regina George and Jaquel Spivy as Damien. Renee Rapp has amazing vocals and you just believe that she's this manipulative teenager, but she also can be very sincere with her conversations. Jaquiel Spivy just has amazing comedic timing, and his delivery of the jokes is just so charming and hilarious. I've never heard of Jaquiel before, so I looked him up, and from what I've seen, he's a new Broadway actor, with Mean Girls being his first movie. Which completely shocked me, because he is phenomenal in this movie. So I really hope we get to see him in some future movies, and I just wish I had more. That's my biggest complaint about him is that I wish he had his own song. I wish that he just showed up more. Moving on to the negative of the movie, my main complaint is it's not very memorable. The story is a rehash of the 2004 film with the same jokes and everything, including outdated ones like the too gay to function joke. Which will get you cancelled on Twitter, Regina. But because of the musical numbers, there's just not a lot of time to develop all the characters, so a lot of them feel like stereotypes or one note. An example of this was the character of Karen. On the way back from the theater, I was trying to talk to some of my friends about Karen, and I was trying to say that she was funny, and she had really great vocals, but I couldn't remember her name. I remembered like three characters' names, and so I referred to her as the dumb one because that was her stereotype. Likewise, several of the songs, while they were stylish and sounded cool, they felt like they were cut short. I even asked a couple of my friends who have listened to the Broadway soundtrack to see what they thought, and sure enough, they did cut some of the songs down, which makes me think the extended versions probably could have helped elevate the songs to make them more memorable. Finally, there were some pacing issues in the third act, and in my opinion, most of the good songs were all in the first half of the movie. In the end, I was never bored with the movie. I don't think it ever exceeds the original, but I think it might be a nice background or just fun relaxed evening kind of movie. For Mean Girls, I give it a 6.5 out of 10 and it'll be a great streaming or rental movie. Since this was a musical, I will also add that my three favorite songs during the movie were A Cautionary Tale, Apex Predator, and Someone Gets Hurt. But that's all I got for Mean Girls. Thank you so much for clicking on my first movie review. Let me know what you thought of Mean Girls and be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next review.